Wow, this album is just wow. What's up everyone and welcome back to another music review. I'm so excited to be reviewing this project today. I've been a friend of Labs for some time now and just watching him work and be so passionate has truly inspired me in my own craft. Beautiful Nightmare is a project that has been in the works for two years now and has finally been released to the public for everyone to listen. And goddamn, were those two years worth it. This album is nothing short of masterful. Beautiful Nightmare consists of 16 tracks and clocks in at 44 minutes. Too short? Let me get the negatives out the way. It was too short. I crave more. There's so much to love about this album, and for it to just be his first? He's gonna go far. He's gonna go far. There's just too much to talk about with this one. Firstly, let's get into these vocals, baby. I love Lab's vocals on this project, man. Such a good singer, and I've been impressed with his range since I heard Drowning. So much emotion is conveyed through his vocals alone. When a song requires him to be more open and intimate about his feelings, you hear that and you feel that in his vocals. When it requires him to be more upbeat and a little bit positive, you feel that too. That is the markings of a true great singer to be able to feel the emotions and feel the words that he's created come to life, come off the page. In these songs, 10 out of 10, great job. Another thing I noticed about him vocally is that throughout this project, he doesn't stick to a specific vocal pattern like you could trace it and pick it out like he follows it throughout this album which some artists do and there's no problem with that if you have a specific vocal pattern and you could kill it in that more power to you man there's some great albums out there where a vocal artist just sticks to that where a singer just sticks to a specific vocal pattern and kills it the whole entire album nothing wrong with that but my boy last we're gonna switch it up a little bit he'll be in one song going like da 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 Da, da, da. And then another one, he'll be like, da, 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 da. you know what I'm saying? It's like that. It's like all over the place. You know what I'm saying? I did a really bad job with that, but you get what I'm saying. It really adds a lot of liveliness to this project since he doesn't stick to a specific flow. I adore that. Lab does what each song requires and is only bolstered by the awesome effects of this album. Speaking of effects, the production of this album, dude. God tier. I've been impressed with the production of a last project since I heard Drowning. You know, usually when an artist first releases a single, let alone an album, it's not gonna sound as good, you know what I'm saying? Because they don't have as best equipment and they're first starting out. I mean, look, listen to the first song I released. I had met this girl, looked so good, wanted her to be my world. Anything she wanted, she got. Drew my money, the world she got. Yeah. We don't talk about that, but um, you get what I'm saying? There's like a charm to it too. Like it, you're just first starting out and we can feel the passion through it. But my boy Les said, nah, F that. This is going to sound official. You finna get the best. I'm finna work with the best producers and I'm going to put all these awesome reverbs and all that and just bah, get the best of me. And you're going to feel the passion too with my vocals. It's like, dude, oh, so good. I love the lot of the production of this album. The beats. These beats are so cold, dude. <laughs> From fake friends to stars to closer to drowning to, oh my God. Like these beats are just epic. Like I love them. I cannot forget these transitions. Dude, <laughs> these transitions are on a whole nother level. This is like, you know how Renaissance, like when you listen to that album, you can't just listen to whole, one whole song because you're gonna miss the transitions. Same effect here. I always go back to, I wanna listen to one song, but I'm like, mm, I'm gonna miss the transitions. I don't wanna miss them. I just end up listening to the whole project again. <laughs> the transition. Dude, there's so many good transitions, but the one transition that sticks out to me the most was from In Your Eyes to Fake Friends. I want to ascend every time I hear it. Every time. I'm Nirvana type shit. <laughs> <laughs> I want to ascend. It's so good. Go listen to that transition. You're going to be like, when I first heard it, my jaw hit the ground. I'm not even kidding. I was like, I was at work because I was, I was at work listening to the album. I was like, dude, what the, what did I just listen to? <laughs> 
it makes the album 10 times better and flow more and feel more cohesive. And I really wish that there were more projects that did transitions. Obviously, there are tons of albums that do transitions, but did it to this level of the effect where it's like, dude, if you miss a transition, you're going to feel like, I just, the whole song is messed up now. The whole flow is messed up. With some albums, when you listen to Transition, it's like, oh, okay. It's like, eh, it's not that bad. But like with here, it's like, nah, bro, you miss a Transition. Run that back. <laughs> but you know, all that's cool. Transitions, good singing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But without lyrics, without substance, without lyrics that mean something, what's the song really? Like, it could be a cool little hype, you know, get to the party, you know what I'm saying? But I'm here for them deep, meaningful lyrics, man. And I'm happy to inform y'all that these lyrics on Beautiful Nightmare are some of the most beautiful, deep and introspective and relatable lyrics I've ever heard. So many themes are touched upon on this album from fake friends and relationships to heartbreak to wanting someone to wanting love but no, you're not ready for it, but still wanting that feeling and knowing what that feeling is like. I almost cried multiple times on here because there are so many lyrics here that I just related to. It's like Lab looked at me and said, let me get your story real quick, on dog. Let me put on that album. And he did. Like, I was so emotional. I like songs like Fake Friends. I was like, dude, bro, I'm about to... Relatable. That's relatable to me. Like, I've been through that experience. I know so many others are gonna feel what I felt when they hear that song because it's like, dude, that is the true power of art and artistry is to be able to get people to feel something and for someone to feel like, dude, like, that's me. You know, that's the tr true power of genuine, beautiful, authentic art. And there's so much of that on this album. There's so much of that on this album is that relatability and the true power of artistry shining through like a diamond. I rate Beautiful Nightmare a 9.5 out of 10. There's so much to love about a Beautiful Nightmare and it's so worth your time. Laugh, proud of you dude. Congratulations on the release of this amazing project. This album deserves our love and applause and praise that it's getting. It's so good. Please give it a listen. Go support Lab. Go listen to Beautiful Nightmare. Thank you all so much for watching my review. Hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And if you've heard of Beautiful Nightmare, drop a comment down below. I want to know what you guys think about it. We'd love to have a discussion with you guys down there. Anyways, see you on my next YouTube video. Peace.